Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, I'm Nikki, and welcome. Make sure that you subscribe. Um, I actually finally have a haul for you guys. It's been forever since I've been able to go shopping enough to do a haul. I Since we moved, I've been like getting one thing here, one thing there, and it's just not worth hauling. So I went to Ulta and I went to Big Lots and mostly Ulta. The first thing that I got was just a repurchase and it is the Cetaphil, if I'm saying that right, the Cetaphil, Cetaphil, I don't know. But I love this stuff. And the last time that I bought it was the Ulta that's um, a couple towns away from me because we just recently got an Ulta where I live. And it was just for normal skin. And it works. I mean, obviously, I haven't, I've only had one breakout since I've started using this. I use it every single day. And so I got the oily kind because me and my husband have oily skin. So I got this to try out, and I'm really, really excited. The next thing I got was the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Milk. And I, don't, I hope you guys can see that, right? Sometimes when I'm next to this window, things kind of white out. But, um, I got this because everyone else has it, and it works. Um, I've been meaning to get it for months now, and just keep forgetting every time I'm in the store. It is on sale. It was originally $4.99. It is $3.99 now. And the next couple of things that I picked up were some lipsticks. I kind of went a little crazy with the lipsticks. Um, the first one that I got was another one from Kate's, and this is the Rimmel London line. This, the red packaged lipsticks are the mattes, so I only had one that was a nude matte, and, um, I wanted to get something else. So I got this in 104, I'm not sure if you can, it'll focus or not, but I got it in 104. It's beautiful. It's completely beautiful. I love this. I cannot wait to try it out. And the next two ones I got are also from Rimmel London. I love the packaging. It is a crazy purple. And then it's kind of like a chrome look in the tube. And I love it. Completely love it. This is from their Moisture Renew line. And I'm not sure if it's new. I'm, I'm, I don't know at all. The first one is in 705 Let's Get Naked. And this is kind of like a nudie pink color. And they are, they're so moisturizing and they just glide on so nicely. There's that one. Love this. Love it. Kind of want nudie pink crazy. The next one I got is in 190 Rose Blush. And this one is kind of like a darker pink. And it's right there at the bottom. I love how these glide on. And they don't have a smell to them at all, which I like. And the last one that I got was um, the L'Oreal Paris Collection Privy, and it's by Julianne. It's Julianne's Nude, I think. Yep, Julianne's Nude in 620. When I went to buy this at the Ulta counter, um, every time I've gone so far, I've had the same girl checking me out, and she is amazingly nice. I love the girls that work at Ulta. They're really great. She told me that this this had a smell, and that it stayed on the lips, and then it smelled like a baby doll. And I kind of knew what she meant, and when I got it home, I instantly tried it out, and holy crap, it smells exactly like a baby doll. Like, the newer baby dolls, or the baby dolls that came out when we were kids, like kind of in the 90s, um, the Cabbage Patch dolls, and when you smelled them, it was kind of that weird plasticky but fa fragrance scent to it and they smell exactly like that and it's very strong and it stays on your lips you smell it the whole time you have these on your lips but the thing that I like about this is that they write the L'Oreal on the actual lipstick I think that's just so classy and pretty and they're beautiful colors so it it <sighs> like I don't mind the smell it's a little like mm, you know a little bit but it makes up for it with the lipstick because the lipsticks are beautiful. So that is at the bottom, Julianne's Nude, and it's really, really pretty. I just wish that they would change the smell. 
they need to work with this formula because the smell of this is a little overpowering. The last two things that I was super excited to share with you guys. Um, I haven't really seen anything around YouTube um, with anyone that I'm subscribed to that has hauled these or done a review on these or even talked about them. So I'm hoping that I'm bringing something new to you guys today. The new thing, and I don't know if they're exactly new, just new to YouTube. Um, the first thing is a palette from Ulta. And it is the 10-piece eyeshadow collection all dialed up. It looks like that. It's in, it's kind of like the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. It's in a hard cardboard. Um, it's very, very cute. It has a floral pattern on it. And it's very, very cute. Um, it's got the little tab to pull it up. And this palette was $12. And it says it is a $52 value. But they sell it for 12 It does not come with a mirror, but it does come with um, a little thing that tells you all the looks you can do with the palette. And the palette looks like this. I thought the colors were perfect. It had the shades that I like and the shades that I've been wanting to try out. Like, it has the eggplant and it has the sapphire. And it does have a cheap um, applicator that I will not use, but... The, the shades are amazing, just amazing. Um, the blue sapphire is so pigmented. It's so, so pigmented. It's beautiful, and it blends out so well. I actually used this palette for my eyes today. I hope you can see this. I feel like there's such a glare coming from the window that you won't be able to see anything. But in the eggplant, same thing. The very dusty beautiful colors very very beautiful and galaxy is just amazing look at galaxy ah oh, such nice colors and they do have their separate um they have they're kind of cubed up in threes and they have their separate like these are the eyeshadows and then these are your brow bone colors but you can use them however you want so I was super excited about this palette and the fact that it only cost $12 is uh, in my budget. The next thing, I have not heard of these people at all. This is the first time I'm hearing of them. Um, if you know about them, leave me a comment and let me know. These are Honey Bee Gardens and this is the palette. It's a very cheap cardboard. It's not the hard cardboard like these. This is like a, a bendable cheap company but this cost me $16.99 and it comes with four shadows so I was like well why is there was three of these too and um I was like why is it so expensive this is an eco-friendly company they are cruelty free so I know there is a lot of youtubers that are hitting the cruelty free train and they are not using any products that test on animals which I think is amazing and kudos to those people they are cruelty free they are eco-friendly so i thought they might interest everyone that is doing that right now and this is a great palette and eyeshadows if you're looking for another company that is cruelty free so this it has a magnetic latch it does latch magnetically um i don't know why they wasted their time because the packaging sucks it really does suck but the great thing about it is that you can open it up and um, take them out if you have a Z palette and just easily take them out. You don't have to use the fire and all that crap. You can easily take it out and just put it in your Z palette. So this is the palette. And this palette is called the Cosmopolitan. Uh, this was the more neutral one so you know I gravitated towards it. It comes with like a, a cheap bamboo applicator which again I will not use. But the eyeshadows the eyeshadows girls are amazing and in the store they do have the choice to have a little um like metal four piece empty palette and then they have single shadows and you can make your own but this was $16.99 and the empty palette they have that is metal um, it's $13.99 and then their single eyeshadows are $8.99 so it seemed like a better deal to just get the palette um, they're so pigmented. They're so nice. Um, I'm, I'm in love. This is cashmere. Oh, 
I, I love this color. It's so, so nice. And then when you put it on your skin, it comes off even better than on your finger. They're so blendable, so silky. I was in love immediately. So I will be returning and getting the other palettes. And I might even go as far as getting the single shadows. The only one that isn't that pigmented is the PS Pink. And I might just need to get into it a bit more, but I mean, I don't even know if you can see that. It's very pale. Um, a good transition shade, though, but that's the only one that I was a little bit about. The other ones, super pigmented, super blendable, super silky. Moving on to things that I got from Big Lots. As you guys probably know, I am a perfume freak when it comes to Big Lots. They have all of the generic perfumes for the higher up end things like Prada and Jimmy Choo and all that so I always grab them because they're around 250 to 350 and I'm sorry if you can hear my neighbor's dog that is going to piss me off um, the first perfume I got was Daffodil Hot and that is their impression of the Marc Jacobs Daisy and I got it for 350 and mind you the packaging on these is not the prettiest thing um, but that's why you pay a lot of money for the real ones is because their packaging and their name um, you really can't patent a smell. So the smells are almost to a T correctly because I've been in Sephora, I've been in Ulta, I've smelled all those expensive perfumes and they're the same. They're the same exact smell. The only difference is the bottle, the name, and they, they tend to not last as long as most ex more expensive perfumes. But for me, they work, and I don't have enough money to go out and buy, like, a $100 perfume. It's not going to happen. So this is a Daffodil Hot. It is their impression of the Daisy um, by Marc Jacobs. Yes, Marc Jacobs Daisy. It smells... I don't even want to start. You guys know I hate describing scents, but it kind of smells to me, and the Daisy does too. It smells to me kind of like cut grass. And even though that's a weird kind of way to explain it, I do like that scent. So I ended up getting that, and I love it. And the next one I got was Party Candy, and this is their impression of Prada's candy. So let's see here. Open it up. The packaging on this, I personally think, is so ugly. But this is it. This is the product. Party Candy. Very cheap. But the smell is like, it's candy. You smell, it smells like candy. So it's a very sweet, sugary smell, which I don't have in my collection, so I was super happy to grab that. And I got that for $2.50. So that was even cheaper than normal. And then I just grabbed my favorite chapstick, my cherry chapstick, because it was $0.60 cents at Big Lots. So, of course, I grabbed that. I grabbed my favorite makeup removers from them, which is the Appeal, I think it is, um, Green Tea Cleaning Tissues. You get a crap load of these, 60 of them, for $2. So I grabbed those, love the smell of those, and I also grabbed my husband a perfume or cologne, and it is the, I don't know how to say it, Axor Noor. It is the impression of the Drakkar Noor, I think, it's a really expensive cologne. It smells exactly like it. Exactly like it. It smells like aftershave, like very expensive aftershave. It is so yum. If you want to get your husband or boyfriend a very good smelling cheap cologne, I'm not joking. This is yum. That's so yum. That is everything that I got last night. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it and that you liked the palettes. Let me know what you think if you have it or if you've seen it or whatnot. Um, I really want to know what you guys think. And tell me what you think about these this collection and let me know if the other ones smell like baby dolls too. So I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.